The man who founded the Experimental Aircraft Association 60 years ago and led the fly-ins moved to Oshkosh 43 years ago has died. Paul Poberezny died in Oshkosh yesterday after a fight with cancer. He was 91. The Wisconsin Historical Society calls him one of the most decorated, or, uh, yeah, decorated people of all international aviation. In today's Flashback Friday from 1993, Terry Barr takes a look back at his life and legacy. I've enjoyed flights so much, and I'd just like to have other people enjoy this vast, untapped ocean of air above us. For 71-year-old Paul Poporezny of Oshkosh, the idea of sharing his love for aviation has been a dream come true. As founder and retired president of the Experimental Aircraft Association and Fly-In, he has watched it grow from the few you see here in the basement of his Milwaukee home to a turning point in 1970, which brought the organization to Oshkosh and its 130,000 members worldwide today. And believe it or not, it's all been a big surprise. None of us had, uh, I don't think, uh, a realization how uh, big it would become, how many people from all over the world would uh, have similar interests. Oshkosh is well known throughout the world. Paul's beginnings were much like EAA, quite simple. He grew up in a poor family in Milwaukee, but says he was instilled with the idea of getting what you want. He built model airplanes, but his first ride is what hooked him, and is one he'll never forget. It was quite a thrill looking down uh, from probably 20 or 30 feet and thinking you were 100 on that first flight. I'll never forget it. I skipped school and go to the airport and stock shelves for save money to to fly. Paul entered the service as a civilian in 1940 and taught wartime cadets to fly. He married his high school sweetheart Audrey and had two children, Bonnie and Tom. Tom, of course, is currently president of EAA. Paul now enjoys spending time with his family, but still works on plane projects like this one. He also writes daily in a journal in hopes of inspiring those yet to come. I think anyone who uh, is devoted to a particular cause uh, can do two things, have a great deal of self-satisfaction and make a reasonable uh, living at it. This year, more than half a million people attended Air Venture in Oshkosh. There were more than 2,000 show planes and 800 exhibitors, a new record. The next hour of Good Day Wisconsin starts now.